Welcome to another edition of Tesla Tips and Trips. Tesla owners have a love-hate relationship with these. I'll show you all about it next. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the three ways you can attach your, at least three ways that I know of, that you can attach your uh, HOV stickers, your carpool lane stickers for, uh, this is for California. Obviously applies to other states. I think New York uses stickers. Um, yes, it's a dumb thing we have to do, but the benefit is um, you save 10 or 15 minutes a day in the carpool lane. It's not a great savings, but in Los Angeles anyway, it uh, every minute counts and it adds up throughout the year. So. Uh, we do have to stick these to our cars. Uh, I agree, it's not ideal. <laughs> Let's be polite about it, I guess. Um, but here are the three ways that I know of that you can uh, put these on your car. The first of which, you just take the sticker and you put it on your car. Uh, later, you worry about taking it off. Uh, it doesn't ruin the paint, at least in my experience. If you know how to take it off, um, it's pretty easy. You use a heat gun, a uh, hair dryer, get the sticker warm, uh, peel off as much as you can. This will crumble off and start to say void on it, you'll notice. Um, but when these expire, these yellow ones will expire in 2025, and then uh, nobody gets to use the carpool lane unless you have multiple people. So uh, down the road, if you just stick it to your paint, I wouldn't worry about your paint too much. Heat gun, peel off as much as you can. Uh, use a product called uh, Goo Gone. It gets the rest of the ad adhesive off and uh, you kind of use a credit card to peel off uh, any, any excess. I'd say it's about a 10 or 15 minute job per sticker. So uh, the solution that I'm gonna go with, we're gonna talk about here in a second, and that is uh, paint protection film underneath the sticker. But before we get to that, in the past what we've done is we've taken uh, the stickers and applied them to this uh, Craftopia adhesive magnetic sheet. And uh, you're probably saying to yourself, well, but Carrie, the whole car is aluminum. Uh, well, the Model 3 and the Model Y, there are areas of steel, uh, one of which is the area around the license plate. And I figure uh, if we stick it, as you can see here, we have this on the magnet. If we stick this magnet next to the, the license plate, I mean, if a cop can't see that, I'm not sure what, uh, what the problem is. So um, yes, it won't stick to a bumper uh, with this. It won't stick to a quarter panel, I don't believe. Um, but there are areas that are visible that you can uh, use this magnet solution. And basically you just take this magnet part. This is the magnet side, this is the adhesive part. You take the sticker, you peel this white part off, you put the sticker on there, and then you cut to fit. And uh, that solution works great, especially if you don't use the carpool lane all the time and you don't want this ugly sticker on your car. You just slap it on there when you need it. And um, yes, I know you're supposed to use four, but in this case, like I said, if you're putting it next to the license plate, I think you can, and it's, you know, licensed to the car, you've got the paperwork in the glove compartment, I think you're going to get away with that. Now, don't take my word for that and come back to me, oh, I got a $400 ticket. Uh, this is just what I've done, and I've had no problems whatsoever. So uh, just a little disclaimer, though. So we're moving away from the magnetic adhesive sheet. Oh, a uh, little, little uh, tip here also. Two pieces of cardboard uh, make a little envelope, and uh, this is what I keep the magnet in so it doesn't lose its form when you're storing it in your trunk or whatever. It keeps it nice and firm. Um, I, you don't want it curling up and stuff like that when, you, when you're not using it. So uh, that's, that was my solution for uh, saving the, uh, the magnetic uh, sticker in your trunk somewhere. A little uh, cardboard envelope. So we'll set that aside. Let's go with the, um, oh, this is still magnet. Set that aside. Let's, uh, let's go with the solution I'm gonna go with for our Model 3. Um, I just cut this sticker right off the, uh, the four pack of stickers. We're just gonna show you how to do one. Obviously don't need to do four. This is some basic uh, paint protection film. I got it from uh, Amazon. It's 3M Vivid. And we're just gonna cut to fit on this too. I'll put the link down in the description as to exactly uh, how much this cost. By the way, um, you know, there are companies out there making pre-cut paint protection film for this solution. And I'm here to tell you they're way overpriced. I mean, once you see how this is done, um, this was like $7 for this entire roll and you can use it for other things. And, um, you know, they're charging a lot more than that. So here it is, Vivid X Pro, Expo actually. Um, and so basically we're just gonna size this Make sure it fits. 
Yep, that's going to fit nicely. And we're just going to cut a piece off that we can use. You want to give it a little more space than you're actually going to use. And we can set this aside, use it for a door sill or a back bumper near your trunk. If you've got kids and you know you don't want your bumper scratched, just put that on there. I haven't done that yet. If I had done it, of course, you'd see a video. Oh, let's use this over here. Roll this back up. All right. So we got our paint protection film all rolled back up again. Very cheap on Amazon, like I said. So what we want to do is we want to apply the sticker. This is the uh, the adhesive backing on on the paint protection film. So that is going to go on the car. And the reason you want to do this is down the road when this is expired, 2025 in uh, the yellow stickers case, when this is expired, it's going to be so much easier to peel this off like maybe 30 seconds as opposed to 10 or 15 minutes per sticker. Um, and you don't need a heat gun, you don't need goo gun, you don't need any of that stuff. Maybe a little rubbing alcohol uh, for this, but I probably not. So basically, it's just to make your life a little easier. Um, most people, yes, I suppose it could get stolen if people knew about it, but looking at it, we're going to cut this to fit. I don't know how anybody's going to know the difference if this is on there the traditional way or if it's got paint protection film underneath it. It's going to be very hard to tell. Um, the old way or the regular way you put this on and someone tries to steal it, it will crumble and say void all over it. So I think people know that by now. They're not going to try. Um, probably find these on, on the internet anyway and print them out or whatever, which is why I'm hiding my number. I don't want my number associated with this video. So, um, so we're going to peel this off, put this on the paint protection film with the backing on this side, and then we're just going to put it on the car like a normal sticker, and it should be much, much easier to remove. So let's do that. Um, carefully, of course. Not as easy as you would think. There we go. Ah, so satisfying, isn't it? Set that aside. And we're gonna throw this right in the middle so we've got plenty of room to cut. I'm gonna do one side first. And yeah, just stick, it doesn't need to be perfect. So now that is stuck on the paint protection film. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this to fit, leaving a little tiny edge around this edge, because again, it's going to be clear. You're not going to be able to t see that. Um, and that gives us a little peeling point uh, when we do put it on the car. So let's get to uh, some basic kindergarten cutting skills. I'm going to start with a straight edge here, because the round part is a little tricky. This is not my first time doing this. And again, I just, you don't even need to cut the sticker itself. You just kind of leave a little tiny edge around the whole sticker. Again, it's going to show up as clear on the car. And you will probably be the only one that knows this. Um, and again, it doesn't even need to be perfect. I mean, you want to get close and have it as round as possible, I suppose. That way, you know, if you just put a square of this on there, that might be a little more noticeable. But because this is mostly cut to fit, it's gonna look like a regular sticker on the car. I've got it on my Model Y already this way. For those of you wondering, how, can, how in the world can I be putting yellow stickers, those in California, you kinda know the drill. How in the world can I be putting yellow stickers on a 2019 Model 3? Well, I haven't needed carpool stickers up to this point, and I never registered for them when the car was new. So you get one shot at registering your car for clean air stickers, and uh, the luck of the draw, these are expiring and the program is ending uh, in 2025. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to apply now, and that way we've got them. And when they expire, I just peel these off.
So that's how you can have a 2019 model uh, electric car and still get the yellow stickers, despite being an older model. So yeah, if you're just hearing the news now, this program is ending 2025. I'm not sure what they're going to do beyond that. Honestly, I think so many people have taken advantage of it with uh, cars like a Volt, plug-in hybrids, and they're not really plugging in too much uh, based on what I see in my neighborhood. And they're just using the car for the stickers. So honestly, what the program should be, and this is my opinion, it should be EV only at this point. And even that's going to be a lot of cars. I'm not saying that there should be a complete entitlement of electric cars in the carpool lane, but, you know, we are a little cleaner. That can be debated as well, but we are a little cleaner from, from point to point, so we should get some sort of benefit, I guess. But there's so many electric cars in California, it's almost kind of laughable to, to give us a benefit. Because All right, so there you go. Um, there it is. It's cut to fit. There's a slight edge all the way around the uh, the edge of the sticker. It's not, I didn't cut any of the sticker itself. And so now we'll just go out to the car and that's gonna be the hardest part is peeling off this backing and then uh, figuring out where to put it. So there you go, that is your cut to fit uh, paint protection film HOV lane sticker solution. Uh, all right, let's go outside. Okay, before I put the uh, sticker on the car, a couple of tips for you. Uh, it's not a good idea to put it on the plastic part of the car. On the Model 3, there's probably not even enough room. Um, no, this, this bottom plastic part, there's not really not enough room. But on the Model Y, it's pretty big, and you could put it on there, but I don't think it'll stick as well. You kind of do want to put it somewhere on the paint so it sticks pretty well. Um, and you're supposed to put four of these things on your car. Uh, I may or may not be putting four on the car, but... You didn't hear that from me. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this on the car. I'm gonna find the best spot in terms of visibility. And uh, I think the hardest part of this project is actually getting this backing off without lifting the, 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 the other part on the, um, on the yellow sticker itself. So uh, let's get to the hard part. Let's stick this on the car. I should mention, you need to clean off this area. <laughs> Don't put it on top of dirt. You want it to have the, the best adhesion to the paint as possible. So clean it off. Uh, I use rubbing alcohol. It uh, definitely cleans off the area uh, good enough with all the dirt and grime and all that stuff. That way you're sticking this thing on something nice and clean. All right, back to the video. All right, so let's try to get this adhesive thing off. I made a corner on the top of it bigger than the rest. And hopefully that will help me get this off. Obviously, we're going to use the long time honored tradition in YouTubers of fast forward video. Oh, actually, looking at it closer, I'm not even close to the uh, yellow sticker. So I guess I am peeling the right thing. Let's see here. No, I think, no, I think that is right. Yep. Yeah, because you can see the edge. So focus, I don't know, this is a weird focus thing. There it is. You can see the edge is around the edge of the paint protection. So it's easier than I thought. So I was pulling on the wrong thing. So there we go. Look at how satisfying this is. Ooh. Okay, so let's get it on the car. I can feel the firmness of the um, the paint protection film around it as well. It's not as, um, it's way more rigid. So I have decided to go with the line of this reflector and the body part here. I'm trying to get the most visible from the right side of the car and the back side of the car, and I think it's right here. Again, please don't use my uh, recommendations on this. Um, you're supposed to put all four on, um, but I am not. I am going to risk it. This I rarely use this sticker anyway. Um, so I'm, gonna, again, going to use this little corner edge here down. This is going to give us the uh, most visible location on the car. 
and I'm kind of just eyeballing it. I guess you could use blue painter's tape. And I'm going to try to center this as best as possible to make it look halfway decent. You kind of, where, wherever you put these, you kind of want to make it not so obvious. You want to make it work for you, right? And then you just kind of get all the air bubbles out. I actually only had one air bubble on this side. It was not too bad. And then get that edge. Get the whole edge that you did on the paint protection film so that way it doesn't lift up. And then another tip I would suggest, which I'm going to do, is uh, hit it with a heat gun or a hair dryer for a few minutes. And that will promote adhesion as well with this sticker. And so now in 2025, when this thing expires, this will be real easy with your fingernail to just lift it right off. Um, and instead of a, 15, a 10 to 15 minute project for each sticker, if you do decide to put all four on, it's, you know, a couple minutes at best. It'll come right off with that paint protection film. And you can't tell, you cannot see the difference. It looks like it's stuck on there just like normal. So, I mean, a thief would have to get pretty lucky. And there you go. All right, there you have it. There's my installation of our HOV stickers for California, the yellow ones using paint protection film. As always, thank you so much for uh, liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell on our videos. Our growth has been really, really cool to watch, and it's because of you. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Tesla tips and trips.